Do you see me? Do, do you hear me? Because I'm about to say the Tuesday Night Wars were awesome, both for NXT and AEW, and I was so thrilled to watch them both. Who won? I don't care, I enjoyed them both. But first off, we're gonna start with NXT. The show started with Cody Rhodes announcing that he's gonna be the special guest general manager for the night. And I don't know how this changes everything in reality, but he made official two matches for next week. Baron Corbin versus Carmelo Hayes versus Dijak and Bara Bing Bara Boom, a battle royale that's gonna determine the next tag team contender for D'Angelo and Stax. Uh, for some reason my cardio is so off and only from that movement I, I got tired. Do you know what I mean? Get your cardio up to date. That doesn't sound right, but you know what I'm trying to say. After that, we had another banger. Asuka versus Roxanne Perez. Roxanne Perez is so green, so new into her career. She was able to deliver a banger with Asuka. Yeah, Asuka is a professional. Asuka is good in this. Asuka is very good at this. And probably she's gonna be able to make a puppet look like a star but Roxanne Perez was good as well and the match was amazing. Oh, oh we are not doing this, yes. Um, after that we had some sort of a pub fight, I don't remember how they phrased it, but Gallus versus Big Strong Boy, Tyler Bate and the Brawling Brutes, it was good. It was basically the worst thing that happened that night, but it was okay. It was okay. Brawling Brutes won, of course, the good guys, uh, but the Gallus was uh, good as well. I, I have nothing against Gallus this time. I always have something against Gallus, but this time I had nothing against Gallus. Do you, do you know what I'm trying to say? After that. The match that was made official at the start of the night, Dominic Mysterio versus Ilya Dragunov for the NXT Championship. Of course, Dom is not gonna be a double champ, even though I kinda wanted to see him as a double champ. I kinda wanted to see Dom as a double champ, I'm not gonna lie, but he didn't manage to beat Ilya Dragunov because the Judgment Day attempted to help Dom, but after that, several other people came and countered that help and basically Ilya managed to retain the NXT Championship. We, we had an interesting showcase of Jade Cargill in NXT and when you see Jade Cargill in NXT you are a little bit afraid because you are like, is she gonna be on NXT? Even though I want her to be in NXT, I want her to climb in a normal ass way. I want her to start in NXT, just smash everyone for month, two, three max, and after that, rocket to the main roster, and after that, rocket to the main event of WrestleMania, and just show that she is a star. Next up, we had a match for the women's breakout tournament, Lola Vice versus Danny Palmer. I don't like matches that don't have any history. Of course, this is a tournament. It's normal that uh, it, it doesn't have any history. So we're just gonna move forward. Lola Vice won. <sighs> what can I say about this? The main event. Carmelo Hayes versus Brown Breaker. Carmelo Hayes with John Cena in his corner and Brown Breaker with Paul Heyman in his corner. And it was a banger. It was a certified banger. Yeah, Paul Heyman and John Cena were useless as frick, but Solo Sikoa joined to help Braun Breaker and John Cena attacked Solo Sikoa. And after that, Paul Heyman disappeared and John Cena disappeared. And there were only Braun Breaker and Carmelo Hayes in the ring. Do you guys see me? Probably not, but I'm here. I'm here to tell you that Carmelo don't miss and he won against Braun Breaker. But Braun Breaker was a sore loser, he speared him after the match and he was like, win or lose, there is only one badass in all of WWE. And the gong hit. Ah, oh, the gong hit. The Undertaker showed up and I pooped my pants, everyone. I pooped my pants. Okay, I didn't poop my pants, I lied a little bit, but 
of the American badass Undertaker showed up, choke slam Braun Breaker. He was like, they're always gonna be bigger, better, badass than you. That's me. <laughs> With that being said, NXT was awesome. I really enjoyed it. I really liked it, I loved it, especially at the end with The Undertaker. The Undertaker was the final nail in the coffin of the Tuesday Night Wars. I'm sorry, that was an ace. If there was no Undertaker there, this probably would have been Ty, but I'm sorry, I'm biased to The Undertaker. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm gonna see you in the next one to see what is happening on the AEW Dynamite side. Peace.